here coming to you with another video and guys right now I, I look like a god of destruction I know I know but I'm not really a part of the evil side let me just switch with that guys I'm not really a part of the evil side I just dressed up like this because I finally became a god guys a god I'm finally a god of creation so I'm about to show you this form but guys before I do I actually want to show you how Vegeta would look if he became a god, guys. So Vegeta would be a god of destruction instead of a god of creation. But I don't want to go to the evil side. I don't want to go to the evil side. But the thing is, the thing is, Vegeta would go to the evil side when he becomes a god of destruction. But And Vegeta has a lot of good side moves. So I'm about to go to the appearance changer and I'm about to um I'm about to change my character. Alright guys right now I'm on Reese's planet or Beerus's planet but I I would actually like to call it Reese's planet guys if I get it wrong please don't correct me or anything please yeah. But right now, I look like Vegeta, guys. So, we're about to go ahead into the first form. I actually love the music for this one. It actually fits the video. So, I'm going to keep it on. I went on this planet because it was actually really small. And it wouldn't be a little bit laggy down back on Earth. Because, like, Earth is such a big planet. And I would always get a little bit laggy there. So, let's go into Super Saiyan. Ooh, looking good, looking good. But the thing is, with Vegeta, when he goes like Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2, his hair wouldn't change that much. But I think it did change at the back though. Yeah, I think the back changed a little bit. But guys, this is Super Saiyan. Let's, let's charge up quickly. And what was the first um energy uh, Vegeta was able to use? Gallic Gun? And I think he also used like a final flash. Yeah. And let me also grab out Hyper Gallic Gun. I don't think Vegeta used it, but he was able to use it with um oops. Uh you guys won't need to see that. But I think Vegeta was able to use it with um with Goku when they first met like you could actually see the energy around Vegeta using his hyper Gallic gun and that would be like really cool the first time Gallic gun he does that form where he puts his where he puts his two hands on his chest and then creates the energy ball bam there we go and then comes final flash bam this looks really cool. I actually love the lightning around it and um the sparkling lines. It actually looks like the Kamehameha wave, so that looks pretty cool. That actually looks really cool right there. And then comes Hyper Gallicon. Let's see. Oh, Hyper Gallicon actually makes the ball of power much more bigger but there's less lightning effects so that doesn't make it really cool right there oh the blast is actually really huge that's a really huge blast right there and i'm actually and i actually like that um blast so hyper gun is actually my favorite so far but super saiyan doesn't really look that good Cause it's just like an aura, you know, just a yellow aura. And we go to the next form. Vegeta didn't have Super Saiyan Kaioken. He had Super Saiyan Kaioken. Yeah, Super Saiyan Kaioken. Let's see what Super Saiyan Kaioken. And then I think that Vegeta had this final shine. Did have a final shine. 
I've heard it somewhere, but I've never seen Vegeta use it before. I'm like literally watching, watching Dragon Ball Z from the very start, so I can like know the history. I only know much from Dragon Ball Z, watching Vegeta, and all of it. The final flash actually looks really cool. I mean, final shine. That looks really, really cool. Okay, can we shoot it? I think it's lagging a little bit. What? Okay, so um, back on Beerus's world, guys. When when I saw that saying I disconnected, I I, I got so angry. Now I had to waste more zen, and that irritated me. But doesn't matter right now but let's go to super saiyan 2 okay um super saiyan 2 let's see i i don't want to do defense thank you oh yes super saiyan 2 actually this form looks really really cool i actually love this form because it has the lightning particle effects. This this transformation is actually my favorite so far. In fact, let me max out my... I, I don't want to max out my volume. I always do. Let me... I don't want to... Let me just max it out. Uh, it doesn't look any different, so... I'm just going to put it at halfway. Um... Well, maybe because I'm now halfway. It doesn't make any difference. Like it becomes a little bit more transparent, but it, it doesn't make any difference, anyways. So this is Super Saiyan 2, guys. How Vegeta looked in Super Saiyan 2. I'm not gonna go Super Spirit Super Saiyan because um that's I I don't know what Spirit Super Saiyan is. I've never seen Goku nor Vegeta go into that form. But I think that was in the Margin Blue Saga. If it's next to Margin Super Saiyan, that means it should be like somewhere in the Margin Blue Saga. But uh, anyways, let's transform. What would Vegeta look like in Super Saiyan 3? Okay, it's a little bit laggy. He has that long hair. No ways. Vegeta would have been looking like really cool in Super Saiyan 3 but I think the hair goes a little bit lower then. wait hold up the eyebrows did why do the eyebrows stay like whenever even with my avatar the eyebrows stay there I'm gonna try be like Goku and see if Pengo only did the eyebrows disappearing with Goku only Cause like literally the eyebrows should disappear if um if you're going to Super Saiyan 3 guys. But Vegeta would actually look really cool with the long hair. He would actually look really cool. Look at that guys, no way Vegeta would look really, really cool. The spikes over there, that that actually looks amazing. Super Saiyan 3 is my favorite transformation Vegeta would take so far. Okay, Vegeta never went into Legendary Super Saiyan. Super, Super Saiyan 4 isn't a part of the main, the main Dragon Ball series or Dragon Ball franchise. It's like a different part of it. Not everyone is actually interested in like this. Bro, what the heck? Vegeta would still wear his armor. That actually looks quite, quite weird. But I actually love the golden eye. That looks really cool. The hair actually throws it off. So that's the thing I don't like about it. The hair throws it off. So I guess I like Super Saiyan 3 better than Super Saiyan 4. Maybe next episode we can see how the trunks look. Future trunks, guys. You would see how he would look if he went into all of these transformations. Okay, now comes Super Saiyan God, the form Vegeta took when in um the Super Broly movie. Guys, that movie is actually really cool. I love the animation there. 
the animation literally i would give it like a hundred out of a hundred that's literally the best animation i've ever seen now for super saiyan god oh i actually can't see because of the aura like the aura literally throws it off i can't see the hair but i actually love the aura especially with the yellow inside just fading up just like a little bit faded in that I, but i'm trying to see the hair mostly because like it's literally um the aura is literally blocking it the, it fits too well with the hair guys okay but vegeta doesn't look really cool with um the super saiyan god so i still like super saiyan 3 better than this so i guess that's basically um how vegeta would look in super saiyan god vegeta never went into super saiyan rage but with his with the anger inside of him i'm sure he would eventually but he would never go into it though so this is how vegeta would look in super saiyan i can't see myself right now let me lower it down so it can be a little bit more transparent so we can actually um see the hair it isn't bad it actually looks like um it looks the same as super saiyan like the first super saiyan but the aura the aura makes it really cool so it may it doesn't make it doesn't give a point to like look at the hair because it looks the same as super saiyan the aura just blocks off everything so that doesn't look really cool you can't you can't even see the character so that sucks right there now for super saiyan blue guys this is where we get into some serious stuff right here super saiyan blue is actually a really strong transformation that goku and vegeta go into a lot it's their first deity hold up let me just fix this quickly oh, wait this is how it looks like let me put my graphics quality up there we are oh uh, it doesn't look really cool but i will say it's good it's good i like super saiyan 3 better because vegeta actually never went into the form so super saiyan 3 looks the coolest guys super saiyan 3 looks the coolest how much else do i actually get from this over a hundred thousand wait how many zeros one two three i get over a million in this form that's that's really odd i get over a million health in this form so that's really cool my base form get, give me six hundred thousand health now for blue evolution guys when i first saw vegeta go into this form i was like going crazy hopping up and down because vegeta actually looked really clean like when he evolved his super saiyan blue that looked amazing guys look at that look how clean this is and the particles that's going that's like coming from it guys this looks really really clean i love it this is my favorite form yet the way he evolved super saiyan blue guys it's actually really really amazing i love it so much so this is blue evolution so that looks really cool now for vegeta in ultra instinct i've never seen vegeta go into ultra instinct but i'm sure eventually he would maybe i'm not sure but i'm sure he would now what would vegeta look like in autonomous ultra instinct i love the aura in that but the hair doesn't change much so that isn't really cool i like blue evolution better but the aura actually looks really amazing i love it now it's time for um master ultra instinct a godly super saiyan 2 wasn't actually from um vegeta it was from goku if in dragon ball super battle of gods um not the movie but the actual show you can actually see when they first failed to summon the super saiyan god because of they had because they had less saiyans 
you can actually see the sparkling and the um bright bright lightning effects that Goku had. So you could actually see um the intense power inside of it. And I don't know, I think they made Godly Super Saiyan 2 overpowered since it's under Master of Ultra Instinct. I'm sure it would be like underneath um Super Saiyan God. So I'm actually not sure how um Godly Super Saiyan 2 is so OP. But let's get into Master of Ultra Instinct. What? This looks really, really cool, guys. How his ch head changed white. You can actually barely see his face. So that's the cool thing about this, guys. This is actually my favorite film right now. Look at this. This is actually really, really amazing. Because this is like... He turned his hair white. Guys, this is actually really amazing. I love this form right now. This is my favorite form yet that Vegeta could take. Now, for God of Creation, Vegeta can't go into a God of Creation. He decides to go into a God of Destruction. But I can show you Vegeta in God of Destruction. I'm not going to go to the evil side though. So let's just go out of Mastered Ultra Instinct. And how would Vegeta look if he was God of Creation? I actually love the transformation, like how everything goes into him. Let's see here. Whoa, I actually love the aura for this. But it doesn't really change him that much. Does it change the eyes though? Yeah, it does change the eyes. But that's like a that's like a little that's like a only one thing that changes a part of it. What? What? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Anyways, tiny's out. Bye bye. Thank you.